bring you season greetings from Angela Hospice and the spiritual care team. As we celebrate Christmas, today we offer up a prayer, which is our response to God, who is already speaking, or better yet, is revealing himself to us. Therefore, prayer is not merely an exchange of words, but it engages the whole person in relationship that is both personal and communal with God the Father through his Son Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. O oh Lord our God, you alone are the most holy King. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heaven and the earth, the God of every nation and people. From the very beginning of creation, you have manifested your love when our need for a savior was so great. You sent your son, Jesus Christ, born of the Virgin Mary. Today, we recognize how you use the birth the humble birth of Jesus in a manger. And so our focus is raised towards him. To our lives, he brings hope, joy, peace, justice, mercy, and love to fill our hearts. We pray to you, Lord, in the great expectation of receiving from you, O divine King, all that is good and perfect. We ask for strength, comfort, courage. Protect us, our patients, our families, our staff, our community, and our land. Guide us as we pray to the most faithful one. Forgive us of our sins, O sovereign King, the King of mercy. The Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, Mary's little baby. His name is Jesus, Emmanuel, the King of Glory and the Prince of Peace. Lord, we bow before you. Hear our prayers. May you reign. May your kingdom come. May your will be done. We praise you, O oh God, forever and ever. Tis the season of peace on earth and goodwill to all creation. Happy holidays and blessings to all. Amen. Uh...
Chaplain Charles Sadler, who will be reading the scripture. The birth of Jesus, Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 16. Listen now for the word of our God. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first in Romus when Quinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee to the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news for all people. For today in the city of David a Savior has been born for you, who is Messiah and Lord. And this will be the sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly hosts with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace on whom his favor rests. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. This is the word of God for you, the people of God. Thanks be to our Lord in heaven. Amen. And here now is Father Elijah with a reflection. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Christmas is fun of the year. Today, the angels are bringing us the good news of great joy. Christmas brings out joy to the world. Yes, why do I make this joy mine? This is an important question. For even though God has declared joy to the world, there are still many among us who do not flow in this joy. Many among us who do not know how to claim this joy and make it their own personally. How do we do this? Well, that's rather easy to explain, but pretty hard to practice. 
So I'll explain. Look at the word joy, J-O-Y. You see that it's made of three letters. First, J, then O, then lastly, Y. J stands for Jesus, O for others, and Y for you. Joy, therefore, is Jesus, others before you. You know, joy in our lives, we need to place Jesus first in everything. Second, we need to try to please others before trying to please ourselves. That is the recipe for joy. That is how we can convert the Christmas joy to the world into a personal joy in my life, now and always. You will discover that those who practice joy, as J O Y, are the ones who enjoy peace and joy. And that those who practice self first are always the unhappy and miserable ones. Here are a few examples. One of, on the negative side, we have the innkeeper who turned Joseph and Mary out in a cold night while he enjoyed the warmth of the ink. There's also Herod, who wanted above all his job security as king to the point that he was prepared to kill Jesus and all this. These people never get to experience the joy of the good news. On the positive side, consider the shepherds who leave everything they own, their flock, in the bush and go to adore Jesus first. The manger, the wise men from the east, who leave the security of their homeland and make a long and dangerous journey to Bethlehem just to worship the newborn Jesus and give him gifts. These are the ones who receive God's favor, the ones who experience in their hearts the true peace and joy of Christmas. Let us today resolve to follow the good example by, following, by, by always placing Jesus and others before self, and then the joy of Christmas will always be ours. God bless you and keep you. Merry Christmas. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him through. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world. scatterer, throne toddler, come and do your will. Find our thoughts and challenge them. Open our minds and change them. Fill us with good things and empty us fully. For we know that nothing is impossible with you. Now help us want for nothing more than the chance to be part of your kingdom coming. Amen. Our service and our worship together has come to an end. Our service to each other and to the world is now beginning. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>